As you can see in this lesson's final experience, we have a simple button that changes color when you hover over it. To create this effect, we need to add a hover state to the object. This way, when the user hovers their cursor over the button, it will trigger the state of the button to change. You can see in our layers panel that our button consists of a square shape and text box. The square shape has a dark opaque fill color and the text is colored white. Using object states, we can easily set these two objects to switch colors when a user hovers over the button. We're going to set this up so that our square shape turns white and our text turns blue when we hover over the button. We can start by selecting our square shape, navigating to the design tab and clicking the plus sign next to states. The current state of our square shape will be set as its default state. Now let's add a transition here with the standard timing to ensure this looks smooth when the object transitions between states. Clicking within the state's drop-down menu, let's add a hover state. Let's also add a transition here to match our default state. Further down in our design tab, we can change the color of our hover state to white and set the opacity to 100%. Now let's go through the same process for the text box. This time, we're going to change the color of the hover state to a dark blue. Feel free to use the color picker on the canvas so that your text matches the experience. After we've added our hover states to the square shape in the text box, we'll want to select the entire group and make sure to click Use Group as Trigger. This will trigger all of the hover states in the group at the same time. Now, when you preview the experience, you'll see when you hover over the button, it changes to the hover state that you've applied. It's important to keep in mind that there are a few different ways to leverage object states. In this lesson, we've applied our object states directly to the group. However, we could also set up these interactions via hotspots that trigger a change in the target state. To learn more about these options, feel free to check out our Educate article on object states for tips, tricks, and best practices. In the next video, we will build off of this step to show how to add additional click interactions.